Now we're going to continue with the rest of uh, Su and Su Kata, or at least the next section that you've been working on recently. Uh, we're going to start from the beginning, and I'm going to do it in the view where you're watching me uh, as if you're in a class. So you might see my back for the beginning of the, of the kata, and you follow along, and then we'll get to the section that you're working on, and I'll slow it down, and we'll do it um, uh, facing you as well as facing away so that you can get a feel for how the cot all comes together. So you'll also be able to see me in the mirror as well. Let's see how this works out today. Soon to cot. Make, skate, break, touch your neck. Cot up, So this is the part that we worked up to in the previous section. Now we're going to add on the next part. I'm going to turn to the face of the front again, stepping my left foot around and gone. Then grab at the shirt, twist, and go into the crane stance. Then a blade kick and a saison stance with the right foot forward. Double punch, step, double punch. Sliding back to cat stands for a double headlock. Angle off, kick, angle off, kick, and stab. That's a Saison stance with a stab and the other arm across your chest. Pull in with an elbow strike and then two side elbow strikes with a shuffle. Turn to the other side, spear hand stab with the elbow up on the chest. Drive it in for the first elbow, and then two side elbows. Then looking straight to the back, guard forward with the left foot, and now circle step right foot forward, but lift it and stomp, and do your elbow strike there. Then two side elbows, again, with the shuffle. So we're going to take it from the previous move, where you finished with the arm breaking move, and the next moves are turning to the front. So watch in the mirror, and you'll get a good view of what I'm doing. After the arm break, look, turn, and make a guard. Now, put your hands up by your chest, right at the uh, right, right chest level. Twist, and bring the arms down. Then a downward blade kick, hands back to the side, double punch, right foot forward. Step, double punch, left foot bow. Back to cat stance, head one. Angle off and do your angle kick once, twice, turn and spear hand, grab, pull in for a first elbow, and then two side elbows. Turn again, stab, pull in for the first elbow, two side elbows. Then face the back with a guard. Right hand back to your hip, step in with a stump and an elbow strike with your right arm, and then shuffle for two more elbow strikes. All right, so we're gonna go over that section again, and this time I'm gonna do it facing towards you. So you'll be able to see more of the details as to how uh, those hands are moving and stances and so on. So the first part, I, when I finished my previous moves, I did the arm break facing the other way. Now I turn, and I'm in a guard. Remember, in your case, you'll be facing to the front right now. Now, this move is a wrist lock. You're taking an opponent who's grabbing you on the shirt, you're twisting their wrist over, and you're doing an arm lock and wrist lock on them. So you put your hands up at the chest, you're grabbing their arm. And now as you twist it, you go from your Saison stance to a crane stance, and you bring your hands over to your left hip. 
So their arm would be extended here. You'd be pulling it down and doing an arm lock at this position. Now we're going to give that opponent a blade kick with our right leg. And we do it as a downward stomping blade kick. So we lift the knee up high and then stomp down with the edge of the foot. Pull it back and set it forward. So you have your right leg forward, double punch, face punch, body punch. Bring the hands back, uh, step in with your left leg. There's your second double punch. Now cross your arms and slide back. So your right leg's back, you're in a cat stance, double headlock. Just like the Saison uh, Kata double headlock. Now step off to the corner in a long stance, back leg straight, front leg a little bit bent. And now it's the angle kick, the number 10 of the lower body basics, kick and twist. It's a ball of the foot kick, so it's like a front kick, but on an angle. And we do that twice. Then as we set it down, we turn to our right side and we land in a Saison stance with the right foot forward. Left hand does a spear hand stab. Right hand goes across the chest, just this way. Now I grab the opponent by the belt, and my first elbow is an inward hit, so it's like a driving straight in elbow this way. So you're hitting inwards, forwards with the elbow. Now there's two side elbows, and you shuffle as you do those. Now turn 180 degrees and stab. We have our left foot forward, we have a spear hand with the right hand, and the other arms across the chest. Grab and pull in to the first elbow. So we're driving forward. Then two side elbows. Now we turn uh, to face the back and we make a guard. And the next move is a stomping move with an elbow strike. So you circle step and stomp an elbow at the same time and then shuffle in Shuffle in for two side elbows after that. So this is the next section of Su and Su Kata, and it's something that will take a little bit of practice uh, to get it down. Now, if you have an uh, opportunity to be in class and your teacher, your sensei is watching you, they can give you some pointers and help you with that. But watching this a couple of times, following the, uh, the directions that I'm doing, watching me from the back and also watching in the mirror, you'll get the idea of the moves. And uh, review this a couple of times. Don't feel like you just have to do it once. Go through this section a couple of times, start to get this kata down. This is a long kata. Suen Su kata is one of the longer Ishinru karate katas. It's the last empty hand kata. It's an important one to learn when you are uh, into the, uh, getting into the black belt levels. So keep up the good work, work on Suen Su kata. We'll do some more and start to get towards the end of this kata in the next video.